AI is having a very busy year. AI, AI first, generative AI. Third, AI, deploying AI, finally with AI. With AI. Power of AI, generative AI, AI platform, AI. Google had mentioned AI 460 times during the Google I.O and positions itself as an AI first company. Google stock price shot up by 57 billion in that day. What did Google say about AI causing the stock price to go up? How will this help us? Will Google outperform ChatGPT4 and Microsoft? Let's find out what AI tools Google are releasing. First, Google has changed Magic Eraser to Magic Editor. Let's have a look. In this photo, if you wish you had taken your bag off for the photo, no problem, you can remove that back strap. If you wish you had posed so it looks like you're really catching the water in your hand, no problem, you can adjust that. Let's look at something even more amazing. You always want your kid at the center of this picture, no problem. You also wish the balloons weren't cut off, no problem, let's fix them. You can go ahead and reposition the birthday boy. Magic Editor automatically recreates parts of the bench and balloons that were not captured in the original shot. The sky is a little bit dark, no problem, you can punch up the sky. It also changes the lighting in the rest of the photo, so the edit feels consistent. So you can now relax and not stress about capturing the perfect photo right away. This is awesome, right? Google is now rolling out Magic Editor in Google Photos. Second, Palm 2. Google announces their latest Palm model, Palm 2. It is Google's answer to GPT-4. There are four different Palm 2 models, Gecko, Otter, Bison, and Unicorn. Gecko is the smallest model. It can work on mobile devices or even offline. Palm 2 can be fine-tuned for specific domains such as security and medical knowledge. SecPalm is designed for security. It can help security experts understand and resolve threats. Another example is MedPalm 2. It is fine-tuned on medical knowledge. It has seen a nine-fold reduction in inaccuracies compared to the base model, approaching the performance of clinician experts. Google is also working MedPalm 2 to synthesize information from medical imaging, like plane films and mammograms. The model is now available in preview. Third, BARD. BARD is Google's answer to ChatGPT. It is like your personal assistant. It is now much more powerful. Google claims that you can do and create anything you can imagine. For example, it can help developers with coding and debugging. It is proficient in over 20 programming languages, including C++, Go, JavaScript, and Python. It can be exported to Google's Colab. You can also export Board's responses directly to Gmail and Google Docs. This makes Board more convenient than ChatGPT. Board plus tools. This is pretty much like ChatGPT's plugins. In the coming weeks, Board is also becoming more visual. Using Google Search, Bard will help you find more relevant images. Google Lens will be integrated with Bard. Bard can also write caption directly from photos. For example, you might upload your dog's image and ask Bard to write a funny caption about them. The tables you generated in Bard can also export to Google Sheet, but that's just the start. Bard will be able to tap into all kinds of services from across the web with extensions from partners like Instacart, Indeed, Khan Academy, and many more. It will work with Adobe Firefly. You can use natural language to ask Bard to create images for you. This is Google's response to Midjourney's competition. Bard is now open to 180 countries, including US, UK, Singapore, Malaysia, and India, and will support 40 languages soon. Fourth, Google Workspace. This refers to Docs, Sheet, Slide, Gmail. This is Google's response to Copilot. It will help you write documents, create sheets. These make it easy to help you get started. In the Google slide, it can also generate images for you based on your input. It will even help you create speaker notes for each slide. These features will be available starting next month. So you can focus on the presentation instead of the note. Duet AI for Workspace. Google Workspace has an awesome new tool called Sidekick and it's going to make your work life a lot easier. This tool is like your personal assistant. It's always there, ready with ideas and suggestions that fit right into what you're working on. For example, if you're writing a story and hit a roadblock, Sidekick can jump in with prompts to help move the plot forward. And it's not just about text. Sidekick can also create images based on the details in your document, adding some eye-catching visuals to your work. So whether you're working on a document or brainstorming new ideas, Sidekick is there to provide a helpful boost of creativity and productivity. Fifth, 
Google Search. Many people are wondering if ChatGPT will replace Google Search, but Google believe AI won't replace Search, but will make it smarter. Is this possible? Let's find out. With the latest update, Google Search will first show you the snapshot on your search topic from generative AI. Right below that, we will see relevant information or products that meet your search. You also have option to ask follow-up question, which will bring you to the brand new conversation mode. Personally, I wonder with the generative result, how many people will still scroll down to see more information. Sixth, Project Tailwind. Project Tailwind is like an AI-first notebook that helps you learn faster. You can simply pick the files from Google Drive and it effectively creates a personalized and private AI model that has expertise in the information that you give it. It will pull out key concepts and questions grounded in the materials that you give to it. This is going to be a game changer for students, making them easier to understand and absorb classroom content. We have seen AI becoming increasingly powerful. How can we ensure AI is used safely, such as in preventing the spread of misinformation? This brings us to seventh, responsible AI. Generative AI makes it easier than ever to create new content, but it also raises additional questions about its trustworthiness. So. Google is developing and providing people with tools to evaluate online information. For example, in this photo, can you tell if this is real or fake? I can't. With Google's About This Image tool in Google Search, you'll be able to see important information such as when and where similar images may have first appeared, where else the image has been seen online, including news, fact-checking and social sites. All this providing you with helpful context to determine if it's reliable. I am glad to see Google taking this seriously. While this might be just the start, it undeniably sets the stage for greater awareness and pushes the standards higher for competitors. That concludes our update on the most recent AI tools announced at Google I.O. If you enjoyed this video and want to help it reach a broader audience, please click the like button and subscribe. We'd also love to hear your thoughts on these AI tools from Google so feel free to share your opinions in the comment section.